alerted to. I'm like, yo, wait, hold up. And he's still letting the cat live in the house? <laughs> oh, he threw that cat out. Right? But he's like, you know what? You know, we got to use wisdom. Young lion, you know, this is that one. All right, God, I see you. I see. He got, this man got a lot of damn patience, man. I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to tell you straight up. Because a lot of people talk crap about this man. And I've seen it. Go ahead, go ahead. You need a cat. <laughs> you need a cat. And that's the spirit, because the most high, he got that cat to what? Weed out the rice, the damn rats and the mice. Or you would call it rice. <laughs> or like Moab said, you know, with chicken fried rice. You know, you want to be the fried rice, so be the fried rice. Right? But guess what, Moab? We ain't never going to be nice when we get our hands on your ass. Right? Bring it up. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner. Now what? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner. So the Lord said, yet, though the teachers, the elders, the senior men, the people that's putting their life on the line, brothers and sisters, you truly got to understand. This is a sacrifice that people is making. This is a sacrifice this man right here made. To give up everything in the world to come to the most high. To be a leader for the people. To lead the people in righteousness. And to also live his life so he don't try to be a hypocrite. Because now you got the souls of people in your hand. Any word you say, they will follow you. You might lead them to righteousness, or you might try to lead them to destruction. But the law said, what? We don't? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So anybody could be a teacher. You can get some information and be a teacher. You know this, you know that. You can be a teacher. But what type of teacher are you? Are you teaching the people the truth of the Bible or the gospel? Are you teaching the people to keep the laws and commandments? Are you building with the people and showing them, hey, I'm not better than you. I just know more information than you, but as long as you're in Israel, I'm trying to deal with you. The elder has shown this. And I have seen this just being in the truth three years. So people might look at me, hey, brother, you just talking. No, no, I have seen this. So I can only tell what I see. We don't. But, th but, thine ear, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. But your eyes shall see your teachers. Your eyes shall see your teachers. When your eyes see your teachers, you're like, yo, what the hell? The mother's talking about on YouTube how wicked this white man is. How wicked this society is. How we're at the bottom and we don't get no help from nobody. Now, in our eyes in the neighborhoods and the streets, we might think, hey, we love everybody. So why the hell they ain't showing us love? We might not even ask the people why you showing us love. We so used to getting beat down that we don't try to fight back. And then when you get somebody to tell you what's going on, you're like, thank God. Like, no, I know I ain't crazy no more, man. This dude is literally right next to my block with a damn washing machine store. And I can't even get it. But the dude is making money off of all my people in the hood. And then you start to see who's your enemy. You need teachers to show you these things, man. Because you learned the ways of the world, now you gotta learn the ways of the truth. And he's been doing it since a young age. We don't. And thy eyes shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. You shall say what? This is the way. I'm telling you, every single person, the reason why we in this room right now, this room is supposed to be a damn gym. But shout out to the sister of Dot and the rest of the brothers and sisters at home. This don't look like no damn gym, boy. This is a hooked up, man. I, I walked in, I said, God damn. You can give a big sister. I'm for the sisters, man. For the brother sisters, I'm working this way. I came in. I said, what the hell? They got this. The basketball court over there, like, it belongs here. <laughs> the the course is like, get me out of here. I don't belong here. Right? Because this right here is a stage right now. To see the people that see it, we're participating on the stage right now, and we're acknowledging the elder through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemir Rashad. We're giving credit to a man because the saying goes, which I learned today, good people get good things because they deserve good things. They're good people. It's good to do good to good people because they're good people, man. It's good to help people that's good. Because you feel good about it, you're doing your part. But if you're trying to help a wicked brother or sister, you're like, Especially if they don't reward you back with the same way. Now, damn, man, shit. Right? We don't? This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. None of us ever forget the first time we heard about this truth. 
You might have heard it from the elders of Bach, you might have heard it from a different elder, you might have looked through the Bible, research, whatever, you would never forget the first time you heard this truth. Ah. Right? Now this elder, a lot of people, I will never forget. We was in Detroit, coming back from Detroit, and going to um, the BS early in the morning to get some breakfast. Me, Elder Tarai, um, the bar, the Tazia, and Makai, you know, we call ourselves the World Warriors. We always go to all these different places and trips and all that, right? And we come into the, the, the damn diner, and we about to get some breakfast. It was crazy. I've been, I've been getting that Elder Tarai the whole night, like, yo, the Knicks is trash. You know, the Lord got to save the Knicks. <laughs> he ain't got no chance in hell. And then Elder Tarai, like, look, man, look, man, look, man, look, man. You ain't gonna do this to me, I'm lying. <laughs> hey, look, man, the Knicks got, you gotta have faith, I'm lying. You gotta believe in the Knicks. And I'm like, look, Elder, man, I used to be a Knicks fan, so I know the Knicks is trash. <laughs> right? But now I'm like, you know what? All right, all right, okay, okay. We was going in on Elder to ride the whole damn night. We go to the diner, and the diner is called Gold Rush. We go into the diner, and there's a dude, as soon as we come into the diner, and he said, hey, how you doing? And they were like, no, 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 it was you. Right? The reason why we said it was you, because we're looking through the spirit. The dude had a Detroit Tigers hat on in New York. And I'm from New York. I was born in New York. No dude is going to have a Detroit hat on. You either going to have a Nick hat on or maybe even a Chicago Bull, which is a trader, but, you know, we'll deal with that. Right? So no dude's going to have a Detroit hat on. The dude had a Detroit hat on. He said, yo, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. And I'm like, no, it is you. The reason why we said it is you, because the Most High put it in our spirit and protect us the whole way as we came from Detroit. The whole way. We seen like a chariot following us as we was driving back from Detroit to New York. And we was like, oh, praise you, how about you, Now, the reason why I bring up this story, we coming into the restaurant. You have one dude arguing with the owner, which is an Issacharite. Now, you know how Esau is when he see Issacharite. Esau always try to portray that dominance, like he's better than everybody. Now, me and the brothers, we looking, and the elder is looking, the boss is looking, like, what this nigga doing? What this evil like doing? Like, like, come on, man, give the man some break. And then Issachar is just taking the BS and all, we, we getting pissed off as hell. The Edomite might leave, and we got one Jake looking dead at us for damn near almost two minutes straight. Out of nowhere, we like, yeah, we like, yo, this is bugged out. What the hell is going on? Elder Tarot is like, yo, no, no, you see what the dude is? Yo, the dude is staring at us. And then we were like, yeah, right? And he was like, yo, I know you brothers. I know who y'all are. He was like, what? He was like, yeah, I, I know you brothers. And we were like, what are you talking about? He was like, yo, y'all the Hebrew Israelites. And we were like, oh, God, God, oh, God, 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 God. He was like, no, no, listen, 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 listen. Y'all saved my life. The dude said that in the restaurant, us coming from Detroit to come into the Bronx, New York. I lived in the Bronx for more than 30 years. The dude coming in and looking at us and saying, y'all saved my life. I said, what the hell? He's like, man, he started pointing out the names of the brothers in the camp. He said, yo, uh, Elder Zabak, Elder Terai, Ephraim, Shao Paul, uh, Sabal. Uh, he said, I watch only you. I've been watching y'all for four years straight. And he said, oh, there's a block up, get this man in the truth. He said, y'all saved my life, man. He said, you know what? To hell with that. He was in the counter. We was about to get some food for breakfast. He said, you know what? I paid for all of y'all. I'm paying, I'm, y'all ain't got to pick up a damn bill or a dime. I'm paying for all of y'all. Because you, people don't understand the people y'all are. Y'all have met in the Lord right in front of people's lives they don't see. Y'all saved my life. And then I looked at Elder Tarot. <laughs> I said, God damn, Elder. And he said, Young Lion, you see? You see, Young Lion? You see when you talk about the Knicks, Young Lion? <laughs> I said, Elder, you know what? I ain't gonna talk about the Knicks no more. Forget it. You got this, Elder. I ain't disrespecting the Knicks no more. But it wasn't about disrespecting the Knicks, it was about just trying to talk back against the Elder. That's what it was about. The reason why I say that, why I understood that, because the most high deal with the elders, according to everybody else, very different. 
There's so many stuff they go through during the time. Trust me. Trust me. To be in this truth for 28 years, to see people come in and go out left and right, come into your camp, hey, you building with them, you trying to help them. Imagine how Yahushai felt when he knew through the spirit Judas Iscariot was going to betray him. Imagine how Yahushua had to feel when he knew Judas Iscariot was going to betray him and he still taught him the word. And he still said, hey, come follow me. He still gave this man bread and food. Still let this man sleep in his house. Still helped this man. Still healed this man and knew this man was going to betray him at the end. Imagine how he, he must have felt. So how do you think the others feel? People going back and forth, leaving the truth here and there, speaking bad about them, talking this, this and that, lying about them. Why they gotta endure? They gotta keep pushing. It's not just for them now. When you come to the truth for a certain year, you're thinking about you, to be honest. You're thinking about you. You're like, I gotta get to the kingdom. But it's not just that, it's not just that no more. No, no more. Because now, you start to look back, you running a race, and you're like, yo, I gotta get to this kid, I gotta get to the target. And then once in a while, the most high stop you. You look back, and you're like, what the? F you see a whole bunch of people following you. You're like, what the hell? Where the hell y'all come from? Look, we was following you. We following you. you like, you know what the hell you're doing. We following you. And then now, you got a whole different opportunity, not just opportunity. They might say a burden, but no, you got a whole different responsibility. You got to look after the people that's following you, behind you. You got to watch what you say now. You got to watch how you move, how you dress, how you speak, because you don't want to offend none of the people that's following you. Not just that. You got to think about your choices you make now. Because not just the people that's watching you, your how about Shino Shah is watching. He puts you in that status, in that plateau, in that profession. And the reason why we call it profession, because the middle law true job is to be a prophet for the most high God. That's our first profession, which we have lost throughout these last generations. But now we're getting it back. So this elder right here been doing his job for more than 28 years. Huh? He's been doing his job for more than 28 years. Leading the flock in righteousness, not trying to be a damn hypocrite, trying to do the best that he can. None of us is perfect. None of us. Christ even told the Pharisees, "You that sin that cursed the uh, cast the first stone." If you sin, they try to threaten his sister and talk about she is adulterer. They had no proof. And Christ said, "He that cast them, he that sin cast the first stone." And they couldn't do a damn thing because they know there was a bunch of sins. So none of us is perfect. We're still in the mortal flesh. We're trying to strive for perfection. So a brother or elder or sister, whatever, make a mistake, now you want to judge them? Now you want to erase everything they've done? You want to backbite, you want to lie, you want to make cause a discord and a strife over everything they've done? That's disrespect. Because nobody will ever do that to, our, to, to anybody else, but they do that to all people. We don't. This is the way, walk ye in it. The Lord said, walk ye in it. This is the way, walk ye in it. We all got different walks. But all of our goals, most high will, everybody in this room is trying to get to the kingdom. But if the most high put an elder in front of you to try to teach you the way and walk ye in it, you can't try to usurp that elder and try to get over him. Because he had to walk his walk. He, he, you can ask me, he would have never thought he'd be in this position. 50 years old, in the truth. Let me get um, Sarai chapter 6 and verse 34. Never would have thought he'd be in this truth. And we look up to people like this, you know why? Because they follow in the right way. They follow in the right way. People say, hey, you a follower, man, you a man pleaser. No, nigga, we follow in the right way. Don't call us a man pleaser when we trying to do right, when your ass want to be wicked. Don't try to use that witchcraft against us. Bring it out. Sorry, right, chapter 6 and verse 34. 
Stand in the multitude of elders. The Lord said? Stand in the multitude of the elders. So the Lord said, stand in the multitude of elders. But you got to choose what type of elder you follow. Are you following an elder that's looking for the flock? Making sure that they're good? Checking up on brothers and sisters, calling people, making sure that they are? Helping people with money when they need it? For their rent or for situations? Not every elder is willing to do that. This man was willing to, we, we, the wife already know, huh? Look, man, we try to do everything our damn self. We ain't trying to ask nobody for it. We trying to do everything our damn self. But if we do need to ask, that means he's a virgin son. And the elder was there to make sure he was good. Straight up. Straight up. It's not me lying, bearing false witness. It is just what it is. Now, I was coming earlier, and the elder was like, yo, I want you to do the induction. And I'm like, and I'm like, damn, man. <laughs> I'm like, shit. And the elder was like, look, man, you know, see your man, this and that, I was supposed to do I'm like, so I'm like, you know what? I was going to write some scriptures. I'm like, nah, don't do that. Nah, speak to the spirit. Don't do that. Speak to the spirit. Be honest. I'm like, you know what? Uh, let, me, let me just let it all out. Be honest. All right? This elder, that's how we know you can tell people by their fruits, by the works that they do. By the works that they do. Me, people look at me and think I've been in two probably seven years or ten years. I'm new. I just came in. Almost three years, almost. By the next three months. Now the reason why people look at me like, why the hundred presidents in that scripture? You're like, no, listen, listen. When you got a good elder and you actually taking heed and listening, the process works. Trust in the process. But when you think you know everything, you close your ears. When you're not humble, you shall be a base. When you're humble, the Most High shall raise you up in the spirit. So, the other if I can tell you, first, I'll never forget the first camp I ever went to. Wednesday camp, holding the back post, I'm happy as hell holding the back post. <laughs> he like, yo, all right, brother, if you got the tall brother right there, yo, hold the back post, you know what? I'm, I'm looking, yo, you had Elder Mishael in New York. Like, hey, hey, yo, man, you know what you want? You could turn back around, you know what you want? I'm like, nah, 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 nope, 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 I'm holding this back post right here. <laughs> I'm making sure ain't nobody coming behind us, man. Straight up. And then, next thing, I'm being consistent, coming to every camp and just hype, like, yo, man, like, this is where he's at. I'm, I'm just hype, like, yeah, this, this is what we was looking for. You got men out here teaching this truth, like, and everything you was thinking about the, the damn Edomites, like, yo, they saying it. Like, yo, this is crazy. Like, yo, this is right here. How the hell we miss this? And then you're like, nah, to help. Look, we stay in here. We ain't going nowhere. You can say whatever you want. I've seen too many things. We ain't going nowhere. Yo. And the elders teach, bringing out the word here and there. This and that, edifying the people. You like, damn, man, this is crazy. Like we found something that everybody wish. Come, come. We found something that everybody wish. They pay millions of dollars for which they could find, and it's right in front of our face. The whole time. That's why I said, oh, everybody else here, we bless. We bless right now. We don't? Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him. And do what? And cleave unto him. So, so people say we a follower of men. We men pleasing. The Lord said cleave unto the elders. But you got to have the spirit of the servant know who you follow. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, be you a follower of me as I'm a follower of Christ. So hold on, so hold on. You can't follow Paul no more? <laughs> Paul keeping the commandments, but you don't want to follow Paul no more? But Jake want to follow LeBron James and Kobe Bryant? Jake want to follow Michael Jordan? And they don't even know who the hell you are? But the Most High set up righteous men to teach you the commandments, and you proud as hell. He said, nah, to hell with that. That's disrespectful. Read on. Samaki, right? Bring it up. And cleave unto him that is wise. And cleave unto who? And cleave unto him that is wise. Follow a man that is moving through wisdom. Because through his wisdom, he will show you through the spirit of how about Shemel Shad the choice that you're supposed to make correctly. Now, if you don't want to take heed, hey, you just 
just you just dumb as hell. Because instead of you have to walk this man's life and his path, be like, look, I already did that walk. You ain't even got to do it. I'm showing you how to do it better. Would y'all take that or not? Come? Come. We don't be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of the understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, if thou seest a man of true understanding of Yahweh, I'm sorry, don't. Get thee bad times unto him. The Lord said, follow that man that has true understanding. Learn from him. Learn the scripture that he's bringing out. Understand how to teach it. Correctly. A lot of people don't want to do that. They got too much pride. They think they know a little bit of scripture. They think they better than anybody else. But Elder Zabak right here, he taught a whole bunch of generations ah. how to do the work of the most high the correct way. Ah. Let me get first Timothy 5 and 17. Get off the top. All right? I got one minute. I want to close it out real quick. You know, praise Yahweh Shem Abu Shai. Um, John 12 and 31, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai said in John 12 and 31, Elder Torah's favorite scripture. Right? I'm not just here for me, H-O-I Lenore Midwest. I'm here to represent HOI New York, New Jersey, that couldn't make it. HOI Buffalo with the bar TV, the bar the star. Right? HOI Long Vegas, they here. HOI Vegas itself. Right? HOI Detroit. Right? HOI uh, Georgia. Right? Atlanta. I'm here to try to represent those that couldn't make it. So I gotta do what the hell I gotta do. I gotta do the best part I can. I don't wanna go back home, brother. Yo, I, you should have said this, brother. You a captain for what? Right, bring it up. First Timothy chapter five and verse seventeen. That the elders that rule be well counted worthy of double honor. So it says the elders that rule be counted worthy of double honors. We ask the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, to bless elders of Bach and all your brothers and sisters around us. Why? Because the time is winding down. This man lived to see fifty doing the work of the Most High, being consistent, being diligent, not making excuses. Willing to go out there and put his life on the line. This man got a family. Look at this. He got a family. You would have never, never thought this man got a family the way he's out there teaching the words of the Lord. The man be at camp six hours straight. So when now they're looking at me, I'm here. Yo, why you at camp five hours? Shit, I learned it from him. <laughs> we had no choice. Right? Because others like, yo, if you wanted to go all out in the world for the for Satan and the devil, what about for the most high? We're supposed to be the men of the Lord, warriors of Yahweh Shinam Shah. Let's go to war for Yahweh Shinam Shah. Huh? We don't? Especially they who labor in word and doctrine. And especially those who labor and worthy in the doctrine. He's been in this truth for 28 years. 28 years, giving his life. Sacrificing the time that he could of his family, whatever he could, to bring out this word. Because what? The big picture is to get to the kingdom. We need salvation. We as a nation have sinned against our God. We're looking for salvation. So we're not going to get it from just the enemy, man. The Lord going to raise up people that's going to teach us the truth. And we got to follow heed and take heed and not be proud of self or be rebellious and be humble to learn. So that we can start to do the same thing and teach the next generation. You got children here, man. They're looking at us as an example. Looking at their father as an example. To live to this age and still be doing righteousness, man. If you're going to get locked up, get locked up for this truth. If you're going to get killed, get killed for this truth. If you're going to get shot or attacked or get defiled or whatever, all these different things, get persecuted, get persecuted for your house. And the elder has went through all of that. And still going through that. And I will never forget. End it off. Let me get um, 2 Timothy 4 and 2. I will never forget this. This one quote he told me. I said, God damn, boy. I better never miss another camp. <laughs> yeah, well, bring it out. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant in season. Out of season. So the elder told me this in 34th Street in the corner. While I was in the winter. I would never forget. And he laughed because he already know what I'm talking about. He see, looked at me, and me and Maccabees in the corner, I'm like, yo, this shit's cold. <laughs> yo, and the brother's looking, yo, when Ariel, 
is, 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 is cold and he's complaining, you know it's a wrap. <laughs> he looked at me and he looked, I'll never forget, he looked at me and said, only the strong survive. I said, God damn. I, I said, yo, I can't miss no more camp. I can't miss a damn camp. He said, only the strong survive. Tell me a shot. When he said that, I remember this scripture. I'll never forget this again. Read it. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. I said, bring out the word in season, out of season. This elder, you can find this elder in a damn blizzard, still bringing out the word. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even have an umbrella. It's raining. Look, man, he got his hands in his pocket. Look, the Lord is going to kill this place. This place is done. This place is done, man. Yup, yup. You see? Yeah, matter of fact, look, man, we be, we be talking about this, man. You know, how you gonna tell America that the most high ain't gonna kill it? It's done! And you be like, God damn, it's real. <laughs> In the cold. So we learned a lot from the elder, man. That's why we have camp three days a week and nonstop. Because we learned, he already set the standard for the spring of Yahweh Shinosha. And one last thing, let me get Exodus 14 and 14. This is the end. Because I learned something that happened two years ago, and I've seen it manifest in the spirit. And I started looking at this Bible, like, man, be right, be right. Bring it out. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord said? The Lord shall fight for you. So the Lord shall fight for you, right? The Most High is fighting for us right now, bringing plagues, destruction, tornadoes, tsunamis, hurricanes, thunder strikes, earthquakes, all over the world. The enemies. Read on. And you shall hold your peace. You shall what? And you shall hold your peace. Now check how crazy that is. Hold on. The Lord is fighting for you for right now, and the Lord just telling you just close your mouth, hold your peace. Why is that important? We had a situation that the elder was talking about. Other people trying to come at us, bearing false witness, lying, putting our videos here and there, information, false information, using mockery, envy. The scripture says, you can't stop an envious man. And the elders told us something. He, like, he said, look, man, just let the most high deal with it. We just gonna keep doing the work of the most high. We just gonna mind our business, just keep it pushing. Keep our head down, keep it pushing. And the Lord will expose all things. And I look back at that scripture last week and I said, get that. Every person that spoke against the righteous man of the Lord has done the work of the most high sincere. The Lord has brought judgment against in the past two years. In the past two years. And we said, damn! We on the right side. Like, like they say in the song, choose you this day who you want to serve. Guess what? We're going to serve you. How about she never shot? And with that, definitely instruction to America, may the most high help the elder in all things. And do to the end. Trials and tribulation. You know, and another thing as well, this is my spiritual father through spirit, Yahweh Shalom Shah. And it's an honor. It is an honor. It is an honor, man, to see your elders abide in these last days, man. Continue to endure. And it's an honor, man, through spirit, Yahweh Shalom Shah, from spiritual son to a spiritual father, the water for everything, for leading by example, and helping us how to do the things the right way through spirit, Yahweh Shalom Shah. We couldn't miss it for the world. And guess what, man? We hear it, my baby. With that, come on, that's wrong. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, just for that, we thank you, Brother Oya, for those words and the scriptures. We knew you would come through the water for that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to have a for everybody who wants to come up and speak and give some words of thanks and appreciation, now is the time to do that. Please, and I'm begging you, please, to keep it as brief as possible, between one to two minutes, if you can. Um, and we're gonna just keep this going. Did you wanna go ahead and speak on anything right here, right now? All uh, praises. I can't go ahead and my phone over there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shalom family, if anybody would like to come up and say a few words, we'd like everybody to form a line right here in the center. 
Uh, try to keep your comments, you know, uh, timely because we want to get to the food and the music and the drink and all that good stuff. Okay? You know, niggas like to party. Right? Y'all ain't here for me. Y'all here to party. Not this person, okay? But if you got any comments now, any commentaries, anything you'd like to say to me personally in front of the, you know, uh, body or whatever, anything, any commentaries you want to make, any thanks. Come up now, form a line up here front and center, and try to make your comments timely. All right, we uh, we know Ari always gonna set up camp, so he took up most of the time. Come to the center, y'all, to the center. And y'all lot, lot up here in the center. If you got a few words to express to me, you know what I'm saying, um, you can say them now, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Or you can send me a message later, but everybody, please keep it timely. Keep it timely. Brothers and sisters are welcome. And keep it timely, and then after this, we're gonna proceed on to the food, drink, and everything in the fellowship, all right? So uh, you can uh, format this break. So I appreciate that for clarifying everything for that. And again, let's try to make this as timely as possible. Then we're going to have, a, after this, we're going to make sure that we show our appreciation even more. Other than the brothers and sisters who have already given their tokens of appreciation by gifts and everything, we really appreciate you guys for doing that. But there are going to be a, a few of us that are going to present a couple of things throughout the night. We may not, everybody can just watch and whatnot. We're not going to just make it to where... Okay, you have to watch. We're going to be doing it throughout the night. You guys can pay attention and eat and fellowship, and we're going to be bringing those out as well. But, um, Brother Bishaya, would you like to come up and give some words? Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. Hey, man, glad to be back here in L.A., but first off, I just got to say, uh, I'll praise you. How about shaking out with Shai? And uh, I must be, you know, I have to mention, man, you know, this is a beautiful event. Thanks to everybody for coming out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always support. And, uh, you know, man, I just got to tell my elder, the water, the water, the water, you know what I'm saying? For accepting somebody that you don't even know, you know what I'm saying? And all of these people that you don't even know and treating us just like family from day one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, making us feel at home in the truth. When a lot of people, you know, when we come into this thing, we, we are confused. We don't really know our way from you know, we don't know which way is up. You know what I'm saying? But the elder makes you feel comfortable. Um, I just want to say thanks for all the edification. Thanks for keeping me on the right path. And I'm just glad the most I had me choose. I feel like the right elder, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, not to go left on any doctrine and, 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 and show me that thanks for, for keeping me grounded in, in the law, statutes, and commandments, in the meat. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for being on, on us about you know, things that we can't foresee, you know what I'm saying? So, I know it's not easy to be an example, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, because the, the more, the longer that we are in this truth, we begin to feel the pressure ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So, for to do it for 30 years, you know what I'm saying, 27 plus years, is, is beyond me, you know what I'm saying? I can't imagine, you know, like all of the, the, the gray hairs that probably wanted to pop out a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, it's, it, it gets stressful, but I mean, I just appreciate you, Elder, the water for everything and uh, everything that you're gonna continue to do, and uh, and, for, and to bring it, bring all these beautiful people into the truth and the thousands and thousands and thousands who, who, who may be watching right now. Man, I, from me to you, I appreciate you. I love you, and uh, just keep keep on enduring, Elder. You know what I'm saying? With that, I say shalom. First and foremost, I want to give an honor to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Shem and Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Um, I, I'll just leave uh, briefly, man. This man is a good man, man, from the time I met him. I'll tell you how I met him. Um, I've been in the truth for about a, a year or so, going on, maybe two years. And I haven't seen any brothers or sisters in the neighborhood I live in, in truth. I see them. I've seen a couple of his uh, videos and things like that. So i seen him a couple of times walking as I was driving, go to the store or whatever he was doing. But this particular day, I finally ran into him. 
And I was like, shout him on! And I screamed out real loud, and it was a sad. And he heard my voice through traffic, over the traffic, and I, he turned around, he, like, he, he pointed at me, he said, I'm gonna be right back. So we, uh, we linked up, man, I got his number. Just happened to be, we lived in the same area. And ever since then, um, I've been coming out to uh, different uh, fellowships with HOI, going to work in Hollywood, to feast, and um, I'm just uh, thankful, man, that we got a brother like this meeting. Yasha Allah, man, and uh, double honors to you, man. I appreciate you, man. I'm 12 Stones and Yasha Allah. I'm Kazaki Call, man. Peace to you, brother. May you live to do this and continue on as we go through this captivity, man. Shalom, man. Yasha Allah. One more show. First, I want to say all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah. And I want to say a strong shalom to this elder who brought me to the truth four years ago. I know I should, I should be ahead of my time, really on Ariel level. I'm looking at Ariel like I'm kind of jealous because, <laughs> man, he done took he took it, and I'm like, damn. I hate a protege now, but no. I want to say thank you, elder. You done saved my life because before you, I was on chakras and Panic Nibiru, I was on all type of stuff, trying to find a way and hearing about these aliens that got big heads and they brown skin, I couldn't connect it. And then to hear you and I said, man, he sound like he's cut from the same cough that I'm from, even though he's from New York. But just the words he's saying and everything, it, I, can, I, can, I can really relate to it. And I noticed that the Most High really kept you in my ear. And like I never went to any other camp I never went to any of the teachers. I always stayed with you. I don't think it's a man pleasing spirit. I feel like, like um, all y'all said, you were my spiritual father, and that's true because my father didn't have a wisdom and not understanding who he is. And I'm thankful for the Most High to even let me know who I am because he didn't have to. He really didn't have to. And to bring it through you, I appreciate it. So with that, I say strong shalom and the water to peace of God. Shalom, we can walk to the church floor. Man, hold this up. Hold this up. Hold this up. Oh man, I don't even know where to start, man. Oh man. All uh, praises, right? Let's give our praises to the uh, Most High. Uh, he gave us, he gave us a mighty leader out here in Israel, man. He been putting in his work for a long time, and just to you know, put some time on, on my status a little bit, right? The first place I saw him was on DVD, right? So my boys was like, yeah, come here, man. Let me show you something, right? And then I was looking, and I just see a, a bunch of black men just standing up there, and I'm paying attention to what they're saying. And I'm like, are they talking to white people like that? <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, they are, right? And then I started paying attention more. I was like, wait, they reading out the Bible? And then I had to go to my book. And I was like, yeah, they are reading out the Bible. And I was like, oh, so this, this is something that, you know, I didn't never heard in the church because I grew up in the church. Yeah. Right? So if they telling me stuff that I never heard and my father is a pastor, I'm like, what's going on? Right? So now... It goes from the DVD to YouTube. And this is the main brother I see on YouTube. And this is like from 2006, 2009, all the way to now, man. And he been doing this before it is, so we gotta give praises where it's at, man. We gotta give our brothers their flowers while they here, man. Oh. You know what I mean? All praises, man, but I don't wanna keep it too long, but yeah, this man definitely woke me up. You know what I mean? Through, through the help of uh, the Most High. And he is one of the main people that I learned from, man. So we have to give all praises to that, man. You know, I got my swag from him, man. That's who it is, man. All right, come on. All right, let's go on. Come on, y'all, Sarah. First and foremost, all praise to you. How about you, Mashiach, y'all, Mashiach? Y'all, I've been in the truth for going on three years, and it's been a journey, man, a, a very emotional journey for me, you know. 
uh, you know, I grew up in, in Los Angeles gangs, and you know, before before I heard this man speak, my life without a doubt was headed toward destruction, man. I lost some of my close loved ones to gang violence in Los Angeles. And when I was like 14 or 15, man, the fi I had 50 year old men giving me guns, sending me to my destruction, man. They wasn't leading me to the, to the, to the path of righteousness. They didn't have, you know what I mean, the, the, the right words to say. So when I, you know, right out of incarceration, I came, I came up to in one of his videos and it, and it shook me, you know what I mean, out of my flesh to where I had to jump up, man, with, with that passion and bring it to the streets, man. And then, you know, you know, words can't express, man, the, 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 the amount of gratitude I have for this man and his impact on my life. You know, and I know that the Most High has a powerful uh, hand upon him, man. And this is overwhelming. So I just want to say all praises, man, and the water elder for what you're doing. And all praises, man. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. Watching the last video, Awaken Israel. I was a YouTuber myself. I had a little small YouTube channel called Westside Tech, covering electronics, covering surround sound, and covering DVDs. And as you know, YouTube gave you suggestions. His videos kept coming up. And I didn't have nothing to do with the Hebrew Israelite. I didn't know what a Hebrew Israelite was. This is like in 2017, if I was calling a Dr. Umar Johnson. I thought I was a pan African. I thought I was an African. I thought I was a handbike. You know, I, everybody, you know, I think I'm a handbike. I thought I was I'm from a tribe of where those Africans are. So I started watching this video, and I'm seeing Edomites' kitchen shoes and boots, and I was like, what is this? And I got fascinated about this, so I bitch watched this video. I, I bitch watched Awaken Israel videos probably for about eight hours straight. On, on that last channel. And then one day I'm driving, I'm taking my kids to school because my kids go to school in Compton, and I see Priest the Bach on Compton Boulevard. I made a U-turn and I said, Priest the Bach! He, he saw me, he didn't know I was going to do a drive, I had a big blue truck. I kind of, you know, I kind of looked like a crib, you know what I mean? You know, I was a former crib, but he was like, uh, he kind of sized me up. And I was like, he gave me his flyer. He told me to come and see the first uh, feast day was the, the first fruits when he was with the lap of fire. So I came out. Uh, he got he collected my number, and one day he called me and said, "Hey, I started my own cap." I said, "I'm there." And that's how I came to the truth. So it's funny how everybody come into this truth different ways. The scriptures say that you come in the truth. You remember who you are in your land of your captivity. So I didn't even know I was a Hebrew Israelite, you know what I mean? But this man right here showed me the way, and I, I, I've been on it. I don't miss camp, I buy equipment, and, and I'm very diligent. I love this man. I never had a, a brother, but this man, I feel like this is my brother, my big brother, you know what I mean? I never had a brother on both sides of our family, and I love this man to death. I've been in it, and I'm gonna keep on continuing this. If I could be in the game for almost 10, 12 years, I could be in this truth and tell Yahweh shall come back in the chariots. Oh! You know what I mean? If you could do, do wickedness, oh! you can come in the truth and do his righteousness. Now I'm telling everybody, I'm looking at everything with a spiritual eye. Me and Zabak do movie reviews, and we're doing everything with a spiritual eye. So, you know, if you if you guys know about this, just break it down, tell everybody they in Hebrew is right, and tell them the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Brought me into his truth. That's what mainly we go through the curses. Nobody fit these curses but us. So that's what brought me into the truth. You know, and then I start, you know, growing my beard out. You know what I mean? My wife told me to grow my beard out. All presents to my wife right here. <laughs> we got her fighting with fringes. You remember that was a struggle. Now she's wearing fringes. So we gotta be the next generation. We can't be out here with the folly. We can't be like whack 100, still trying to be Pyru and all that. We gotta tell people we the Israelites. We gotta say the following law, statute, commandment. And that's all Hebrew, not 
part who left on the new blue. All that folly going on. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be with this man on the chariots. Because you, like I said, you want to be on those chariots. You don't want to burn in Babylon. So that's all I got to say. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And we got next. We got next. We're going to be the future rulers of this, of this whole world. You know what I'm saying? From where I come, I come from a cold place called Buffalo, man. And I was selling drugs, man. I was selling drugs. Come on, man. I was selling drugs to people so by age, older and down, man. So to see a man out there to serve the Lord, man, I'm about to, I'm about to serve the Lord too, man. If he can do it, I can do it. If I can do it, he can damn sure can do it, man. So, man. For me, you know, Acts chapter 5, verse 29, man, we ought to obey God the man. So I'm not here to obey the man. You need structure in your life, man. And we got elders all, all around, man. But the most high allowed me to cleave to this young man right here, man. If he's still living, he's young, man. He ain't no damn old man. It's a damn young man out there on the corner in the highways and hedges, man. So for me, man, I'm glad to be with all of y'all brothers slicing swords in the street, man, because I'm trying to look bloody. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I want to give all the scripture, right? Because right before I'm saying what I'm about to say, this is the reason why. So right chapter 4, verse 7, it says, Get thyself the love of the congregation and bow thy head to a great man. So to me, I'm not saying he's over your high with or the most high, but this is a great man. All of y'all brothers is great men. But when you see a great man, you want to bow, Yahweh by Hashem, and I'm going to say it again for the niggas in the back, Yahweh by Hashem, and I'm going to shine the rock of God. And, 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 let me get my glass here. I, I don't want to retro. Oh, so if everybody got a cup. If you don't drink wine, you got a little bit of water. I know you little kids. Y'all drink a little Kool-Aid. If you got a cup, raise your hands in the air now. And I just want you to say something. No offense. Death to America. Death to America. Death to Esau. Death to Esau. Well, say it one more damn time, man. Death to America. Death to America. Death to Esau. Death So, Dewa Elder, 
Um, I'm also happy with everybody that I know and met in the family, and, and it's just a beautiful experience. And uh, so, Dewada, Yahweh, I'll show you my shit. Oh! Stealing stuff, stealing food, and constantly just so irritated. You know, I had to, many times I had to fight, I had to beat people up. I had to, it was just hell. It was it was depressing. And looking at YouTube, same thing like a lot of you all watching YouTube. And I saw I was a Bach on there, and uh, he was just you know preaching and preaching. And many times I look on there, and and it was either H O I or it was True Nation. I see Bishop Iowa and Bishop Bonnyah back there. And the elders would be just bringing out the truth, bringing it out. I think he was out of town at the time, and I called him. I said, man, I'm, I, I just, it's just tough. I don't know what to do. I come from the Christian church, you know, musician. I just always, always the one playing the organ, you know, for the big mega churches, you know. And I just got tired. I walked out the church. I said, I can't take it no more. It's just it's fake, man. It's fake. Looking at these bishops, and they taking money, and got Bentleys and cars, and, you know, you all know the story. And it's just, you know, I, I called him and, and, you know, my father's a pastor and he has a lot of members. I was my father's right hand man. You know, I'm, I'm the musician, so you got you to stick, you got to be there for dad. So I'm calling, I'm telling, I'm, you know, my mom, my father, you know, they, they over many churches in the Christian church. So that's really, di it's difficult to, um, to stand strong when you don't have support from your family, your blood family. So I'm talking to Zabak, calling him, man, my mom. Like he said, man, you can't, you can't be worried about your mom, man. If it's for her to come into the truth, she's going to come into the truth. I'm going to have to get on you now. And he's telling me, he just telling me, man. And, I was, and I'm, I'm like, man, you know, it's just difficult. And he had to keep telling me over and over and over and over. And I, and I think he was out of town at the, at the time. I wasn't able to come and, and fellowship with brothers. I said, well, true nation. He said, does I want to? He's going to tell you the same thing. He said, he's going to tell you the same thing. I'm sure they're gonna say the same exact thing, man. You can't be worried about the family, your family, because it's it's, it's said you gotta do what you gotta do. And that what you said out. <laughs> said you gotta do what you have to do. God gave you the vision. Everybody's not gonna see the vision like you see it. You can see your vision. It's like you have a dream, you tell somebody about your dream, and they ain't gonna believe it. But you the one dreaming. You were sleeping and, and, and your your spirit went somewhere else in, in the universe and came back and you tell somebody, hey man, I just had this dream. You don't even have to prove to them that you believe that that you don't have to prove to them that you that this dream happened the way it happened. Uh, it's not about it's, it's about what you know and what you feel. God gave you the most high gave you the vision. So he gives you the vision, he gives you the plan and, and uh, for you to organize and to do things, and, and that's it. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Uh, so when you when you prepare, you prepare you, if you if you prepare, you, you know it's important for you to, to, to move forward in life as a man, especially as a man with responsibilities. And it's about told, man, you can't do it. You can't be doing look, look, man, you can't can't be doing that. You just got you got you got to keep you got to keep your focus. God's gonna provide. Oh. And then I call him back. And I call him back different times. I'm in a whole other. I'm on, I'm on other bridge. I send a picture. I'm in a whole other different bridge. <laughs> and chairs and, and, and couches and then just it was just terrible. It was horrible. And all I could do, I was just sitting there, I would sing and, and, and do songs and things like that. And I think that's when he was out of town. He said, well, get True Nation, brother. And I, and I joined True Nation. He said, man, congratulations. Man, I'm proud of you, man, blah, blah, blah. You know, and that's when the, uh, the other event in Hollywood at, at the mansion, we did that. And that was just, it was just a beautiful thing. And now I'm here God. talking to you all with strength. You know, with ability. And I'm from, uh, from Chicago, so I can lie, you know, I was at... 
you know, the preacher kid, you know, gang banging on the side, you know, GD, gangster disciples. So I would go around, you know, getting mad at people for putting up a hand sign, you know what I mean? Just want to bang, you know, for no reason. And I just thought that was kind of stupid. And I left Chicago because the dude shot the dude because he had, you know, he, I guess he bumped into him and stepped on his shoes or something, you know, I'm like, that's stupid. He GD too, dummy. Oh, for real? Stupid man, so I had to leave and I got I just got tired of this. It's dumb. Banging on your, you know, on your own brother. Yeah. For no reason. You know, just off of just off of just some some history of somebody else. Y'all know the story. You don't know how I go in, in the streets. No G kill OG, woo 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 woo. So I got sick of that, man. So now the love, the family, the true nation, man, we all we, we get together, we do things, we study the word, we get into the scriptures, and, and now it, here we are, man. Here we are. You know, so I thank you. Thank you, I truly thank you for the for the wisdom and the and then just uplifting me, you know, helping me to, 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 to get up a little bit. It's kinda like, you know, when you when you see those pictures of the army, you got you got you got two people on one side. And this, this is how I see it in the spirit. I see HOL was holding one arm and True Nation was holding the other arm. And my feet was just dragging. Uh, and then now I'm up. Now I can help the other brothers that's out here and struggling. I can tell them, get up. I can say, get up, man. Get up, be a man and, 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 and speak the word of the most high. That's right. Yeah, how about shit on my shit, y'all was saying. Tell me the shit on me. Shit on This time, um, I'm gonna make my little uh, speech, so to speak. Um, Aria, I need you front and center as my reader. And give it up for yourselves, family. We'll pray to see how many of you have a child. Huh? Uh, this is important. This is this is beautiful. All praise to you. How many have a child? Kwame Ashada, we still got next. Hallelujah. All praise to you. How many have a child? And once again, give it up for the nation of Israel, all right? All right? This is deeper than me, eldership, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? We coming together here tonight to, you know, celebrate a monumental time in my life. And I would like to thank all you brothers and sisters here for celebrating this special moment with me, okay? If you're here, that means you're meant to be here, okay? You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to say, man, in my walk, I realized, man, the, 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 the essence of being in this truth is loving your fellow brother and sister, okay? Yeah. Give me, uh, I'm going to start with St. Mark chapter 12, verse 31. You cannot do anything in this truth without love for your fellow brother and sister, okay? Yeah. If you don't love your nation, none of this means nothing, man. This means nothing. So let's exercise true love and let's continue in that true love and let's continue to build as a nation. Ah. You know, tonight I'm HOI, but I'm not HOI. I'm true nation, but I'm not true nation. I'm 12 stones, but I'm not 12 stones. You know what I am tonight? I am a Hebrew Israelite loving my entire nation. Ah. I know we have different camps, different representatives in the house tonight, but we are one nation tonight. Come? Yeah. We're a true nation. <laughs> yeah. Come? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I pride myself on. If anybody know me, I'm HOI because that's the organization, organization that I label with. But, man, I deal with everybody from camps y'all never even heard of, man. Because I'm a nationalist first. Come? Uh, the hell with all this, all this alphabet and you this and this. And we got every alphabet in the damn, every letter in the alphabet. But we are nation first. Okay? Uh, so I love all you brothers and sisters for being here. A lot of the family said they would like to come, but different things happen. I think Esau spread something in the air. A lot of people just came down with stuff over the last two, three, four days. So there's a lot of craziness going on. So after this threshold that we cross. We got to battle, we got to look for the battle that we're about to come into, okay? Yeah. But I thank God for making an effort and being here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to make some Negro heat. <laughs> and we're going to make it happen, especially when that music come on, okay? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Mark, chapter 12, verse 31. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor. Shall what? Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Shall love thy neighbor. Come on. As thyself. May God love your neighbor as yourself by a show of hands. Every hand better be up. Two hands, two feet, everything. Okay? Yeah. Love your name. We already know. Love the most high your house shot with all your heart, mind, and soul. Okay? Yeah. But love your neighbor as yourself. What I'm doing here tonight, I do for any one of you brothers and sisters in this room. Okay? Yeah. Right, go ahead. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than thee. No other commandment greater than loving your brother as you love yourself. God, uh -huh. loving your sister. Sisters, we ain't going to leave y'all out. The man is the dominant figure. But loving your nation as you love yourself. God, uh -huh. and this is love in this room, man. God, uh -huh. all right? For anybody that's over-righteous, this is, this is not a 50th birthday badge. <laughs> not a really 50th birthday badge. God, uh -huh. but... Me and my wife were actually inspired by other Hebrews that gave their elders a 50th celebration of eldership. Kind? Because we know we don't do the whole birthday thing for the overrighteous rules, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a pivotal time in your life that you reach and you thinking maybe, I know for me, thanking the most on your shot for seeing this time in my life and being in this truth and having such loving brothers and sisters around me. That's what I'm celebrating tonight. Come, 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 come. So don't judge me, Israel. None of y'all better not get mad at me and make a damn video on me. <laughs> Elders of Black celebrates birthdays. He's wicked, you know what I'm saying? Y'all get mad at me, y'all better come talk to me, goddamn. We got a problem, God. You better not go make no video. See, he's Babylonian. <laughs> That's not what this is about, God. And if we really want to get simple, Devin, I turned 56 days ago. <laughs> so you can't use it against me. But that's not what this is about, man. This is about eldership. And uh, I've been being called an elder for the last 12, 13 years. And I'm like, what the hell do you mean, elder? I'm 37. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> elder. <laughs> elder what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, my wife, I love you, Kathario. You know what I'm saying? I'm see you. I'm going to you. I love you. And, um, you know, she wanted, she got inspired by another congregation to do this for me. Kai, I'd have been happy if, if we was doing camp in the rain last night. <laughs> on Hollywood and Hollywood. I made 50 teaching the word, Kai. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been happy with that. But my beautiful wife, you know what I'm saying? She so loved you. Don't you agree? <laughs> Get my, get my Eddie Murphy on. But she got inspired by another congregation, uh, Sister Sapaya of, raise your hand, Light of Zion, Florida. Sister Sapaya of the Light of Zion congregation in Florida, they had kind of started a trend in Israel of, of, of an elder induction, 50th year celebrations. Uh, just to recognize brothers, especially if you've been in this truth for a while and you reach the age of 50. Okay? Right. So they started that, and my wife was inspired about it and she wanted to do it out here in LA with the family. You know what I'm saying? I think this is my third celebration. I had two celebrations in New York, and I just thank the most high for the love. Okay? Right. So, you know, I love all you brothers and sisters. Thank y'all for being here. I'm going to try not to be too long winded. We want to get to the food and the celebration. And so on and so forth. Read on. This is Mark chapter 12 and verse 31. And the second is like, namely this Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Thou shalt love who? Thy neighbor. Thy neighbor, come on, as thyself. Israel, if we don't have love for each other, you need to step out of this room. You matter of fact, you need to step out of this truth. We gotta have love for each other. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to doctrine, people going deep in the scriptures, history, whatever, we can deal with all that. But we're a nation first. Okay? Right, give me uh, Proverbs 24, 16. I know, I know. I'll try not to be too long. Bring it up. Proverbs 24 and 16. 
Love y'all, Israel. All right, love y'all back. <laughs> love y'all back again. <laughs> All right, read that. Proverbs 24 and 16. Read. This is Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man, a what? A just man. A what? A just man. A just Hebrew Israelite man. Go ahead. Full of seven times. Full of several times. I, I'll confess to y'all, Israel, I haven't always been perfect. I haven't been perfect, but you know what helped me? Endurance. God, when I got knocked down, I said, listen, unless the most high kill me or forsake me, I got to get back up and keep going. That's all I can do. After a certain point in this truth, that's all I knew how to do. You can't kill me because I'm going to keep living. God, I'm going to keep living in your house when your house is shine. Only he can kill me. He, only he can destroy me. Only he can stop me. But I'm going to keep going in this truth. God, Read it again, brother. Proverbs 24, verse 16. For a just man, full of seven times. All oh, four, man. If anybody in this room say they never fell, you a liar. God. And the truth is not in you. No. I like you when you real with me. I like when you would say, Elders of Bob, I'm in the mud. Bring me up out of that mud. Bring me up out of that quicksand. I'm drowning in that quicksand. Pull me out, Elder, and I got you. God? We're going to do this together. We're going to bond both hands together. We're going to pull each other up. Okay? Yeah. That's what we got to do, Israel. That's the love that we got to have as a nation. I don't care about a camp, a group, a clique, a congregation. We are a nation at the, at, at the end. At the end of the day, Salakia. Okay? Yeah. Whatever camp body you with, that's the immediate body of brothers and sisters that you labor with. But we are a nation at the end of the day. Okay? Yeah. And any one of y'all in this room, if it be the most I will, I go to bat for y'all. Okay? And y'all got my word on that. Okay? And call me on it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might call me up. But it's a fuck. Remember that speech you made at your eldership? <laughs> I need it ready. Uh huh, brother? Oh, uh, not me. <laughs> Can y'all feel the love in this room? Yeah. Yeah. Don't just say that. Can y'all feel the love in this room? Yeah. And you know why that is? Because I love y'all. God? Yeah. All praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. We are a nation at, at the end of the day. Go ahead. For a just man full of seven times. We all fall, man. Even, even, a, even a Christian say in the church, we fall down. But we get up, God. Let's see y'all all off. Can y'all know that song? <laughs> y'all been listening to damn Kirk Franklin on Sundays. Nah, I just messing with y'all. But we know that song. We know we can relate to it because a lot of our people are still in Christianity, God. We fall down, but we get up, God. Right, God. And rising up again. The Lord said, and rising. Up again. What does a just man do? It rises up again. Rises up again. The reason why I wanted to start with that is because before eldership, leadership, anything, man, I want to let all y'all brothers and sisters in this room know I have my struggles just like y'all. Okay? Even as an elder, I go through it and we fall down, but we get up. A just man falls seven times, but you repent and you get back up again. Okay? Give me uh, 1 Peter 5 and 1. All right? I'll try to make it short as possible for y'all, Israel. God, Put it, shut up. All right, 1 Peter 5 and 1. You got it? Read that, brother. It's 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 1. The elders which are among you, I exhort, whom am also an elder. So now, I'm also an elder. I can accept it now, God damn it, I'm 50. <laughs> All right, I'll accept it. I'm the big five oh. All right, I'll accept it now. Okay, when you read Numbers, the eighth chapter, that's when you come into, the priests came into their eldership, but we are a nation of priests, so, you know, it formulates themselves. Go ahead. And a witness of the sufferings of Christ, yes. and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Come on. Feed the flock of God. What is an elder supposed to do? Feed the flock of God. So we are supposed to feed 
the flock of Yahweh by Shemua Shiach Yabushai. Okay? That's the elder's job to feed the flock. You know, oversee the brothers and sisters and feed them, teach you, give you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and tell you what these scriptures say. God? Okay? Okay. Right, go ahead. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Taking the oversight. Doing what? Taking the oversight thereof. We're supposed to take the oversight thereof. We're supposed to take charge, man. You elders, you brothers that are in senior and elder positions, you're supposed to take that charge. You're supposed to guide and protect these younger men. God? You know, we was talking about out here, you know, in L.A., they got the gang culture or whatever. And uh, I love my L.A. fam, even though I'm from New York. <laughs> it's all love. Come You know what I'm saying? I always show love out here. But we know the gang culture is kind of deep out here with our brothers and sisters. God? So we know. Come here, Shalom. Come here, All right, so we know everything that brother said earlier, Rob Judah. Uh, Michael Ward, brother said earlier, is all in the spirit of the most side of my shock, I was shot, okay? Because we coming from all different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Feed the flock of God, which is among you. So our job is to feed the flock. We got to feed the flock as elders, leaders, man. We got to teach. You know what I'm saying? Teach, man. Bring the younger men in. Show them there's a better way. You know, show them that the most side, your house shot, got a way through these scriptures, through this power through this love that we can teach them and they can come out of that. Everybody comes from a different background, man, no matter what it is. But in Israel, we're not supposed to judge you. We're not supposed to put you down. We're not supposed to condemn you. We're supposed to say, you know what? Welcome home. God, oh, no matter where you came from, welcome home. Whether it's out here in L.A. with the gang politics, whatever. I done dealt with all that. I've been out here almost going on, what, babe, 12 years? I've been out here, you know what I'm saying, with my beautiful wife, Miss Kathaya Kanai Khan. Isn't she so lovely? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> she get on my last damn nerves sometimes. But I still love her. You know what I'm saying? But I've been out here dealing with the LA culture for like the last 12 years. So, you know, I know. I know how the New York culture is. I know how the South culture is. Because wherever I'm at, I study. You know what I'm saying? My, my LA brothers, man. I love y'all because one thing about y'all, y'all to be like, look, man, no matter where we come from, we serve the most high. I was shocked. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The politics is crazy out here. You know what I'm saying, Rob Judah? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? My LA family, they be like, look, look, Elder, you really don't understand, but where we come from, we got to. We still here. Come. You know what I'm saying? So I got nothing but love for my LA fan, man. <coughs> All praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Khan. And uh, I got nothing but love for my Israelite family, no matter where we come from. Khan, we don't take it, the oversight thereof. We got to take the oversight thereof. God, not by constraint. Not by what? Not by constraint. Not by constraint. You know what I'm saying? You forced to do it. God, but willingly. But willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. See that? But of a ready mind. It has to be of a ready mind. You have to be willing to do this work, to do this in the spirit of the Most High, the Mashiach, the Havashah. Okay? Yeah. So we got to understand. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. You know what I'm saying? We're going to wind it down, Israel. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got to understand, this is important for us as a nation and as a people. When we come together, everything we do should be in the spirit of the Most High of Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. God? God? And always let everything be in the spirit of sincerity, truth, and love and according to these scriptures. And for you younger brothers, as you come up, you reach certain milestones in your life, whether it be 40, 45, 38, whatever, you might be starting to be called L that at any age. God? God. Just live up to that position. God? That's right. And through the spirit of the most high, your high shot, I've tried to the best of my ability. I've tried to live up to that position. God? God. I hope I haven't failed any of you brothers and sisters. Nope. God? Nope. Come in, shall God. God. Uh, we got. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 12. It's lucky. Chapter 13 and verse 8. 
For we can do nothing against the truth. Start at 5. Second Corinthians 13, verse 5. Yes. Examine yourself. What do you say? Examine yourself. What should we all know? Examine yourself. Scripture says, examine ourselves. God, oh. examine yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the spiritual mirror. God, examine yourself. Come on. Examine yourself. Whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. What did Paul say? Prove your own self. Listen, just because I turned the big 5 and I got a, almost 30 years in this truth, guess what? Tomorrow, the next day, I'm going to examine myself. I'm going to look in that mirror, right? Now, you ain't finished. You got still, you still got work to do. Okay? okay? Right? Like, like the rapper now said, this is a second childhood. Okay. All right? I, got, I still got work to do. Fitty don't need nothing. God? I still got more work to do. I got to look in that mirror and get it. Now what you going to do? Okay? All right, come on. Prove your own self. Prove your own self. I got to start with the man in the mirror. Okay? All right, go ahead. Know ye not your own selves? How that Yahawashah Hamashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobate. So we don't want to be a castaway. God, a reprobate is a castaway. Know your own self. So I'm not I'm not finna stand here and get confident and cocky. Yeah, I'm 50. I'm 27, 28, 29 years of the truth. No. It's time to re-examine. Okay? Yeah. Go over again. Make sure you on point again. Make sure this is another threshold in your life. Okay? Yeah. Especially walking in the most sign of Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Yeah. Give me uh, Romans 8 and 34. A few more, y'all. Then we're gonna close it out. I know y'all saying, Elder, shut the hell up. That food's smelling good. <laughs> we know, goddamn, you're 50. Okay, sit down. <laughs> God? Yeah, All right, up. but uh, we got to go to the spiritual food first. God? That's right. Read that, brother. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? Uh, 35. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah? God? Yeah. Nobody, nothing. Go ahead. Shall tribulation? Tribulation, because we went through certain trials and tribulations in this truth. Go ahead. Or distress? Or distress? Come on. Or persecution? Go ahead. Or famine? Go ahead. Or nakedness? Go ahead. Or peril? Go ahead. Or sword? Go ahead. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as the sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. We are what? We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors through all these things. God? Right, go ahead. Through him that love us. Who? Through him that love us. We are more than conquerors through him that love us, which is the most high of Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, of course. Come on. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, neither death, nor life, go ahead, nor angels, nor angels, come on, nor principalities, nor principalities, go ahead, nor powers, go ahead. nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord. God! God! Y'all can do better. Give it up for that scripture. That ain't even for me. Give it up for the scripture. God! Nothing, nothing, nothing should be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. God, give me uh, Numbers 8.25. One or two more on eldership, Israel, then we're going to close out, pray over the food and a drink, eat, drink, and be merry. God? 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 And listen, I don't care what y'all got going on tomorrow. Y'all yeah, going to make that bold statement. Y'all yeah, better stay and hang out with me. God? God. Right, I don't care. You got to go to work five in the morning, damn it, be tired. God? 
I might stand at the door. <laughs> I was messing with y'all, but I want to turn up with my family in registers. Go! 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 So we know we're a little late, but nobody gonna just run up out of here. God will stop y'all at the door. Go ahead, y'all. God. Numbers chapter 8, verse 25. And from the age of 50 years, they shall cease waiting upon the service thereof. See that? So from the age of 50 years, this was mainly for the priests. We know that. We know um, scripture. We know uh, Israel. Y'all shot with y'all swords. But he said, we, wait a minute, brother. You ain't a Levite. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord did say he was going to make us a nation of priests. God. So when you reach 50 years old, that was a pinnacle in your lifetime, right? Go ahead. And from the age of 50 years, they shall cease waiting upon the service they run. See that? It said the priest would cease from working in the temple and doing the priestly duty. That was when we had the order set up with the priesthood. But we in captivity. I'm going to tell y'all straight up. They asked me, they said, Elder, you 50 now, you going to retire like the scriptures say? Hell no. Hell no. Damn it, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Give me Matthew 24, 13. Go! I'm just getting started at 50. Go! Give me Matthew 24 and 13. Read that, brother. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end. I'm enduring to the end. If it be the most high of Mashiach, I was trying to say the same. Go! I ain't retiring. Nah, none of that. You younger brothers can take some of the work all off of my back. I ain't going to stop y'all from doing that, but I ain't retiring. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, go ahead. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. The Lord said, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. So if the most High, the Mashiach, the Hawa shall say the same, I'm enduring to the end. Ain't no retirement plan. Go ahead. I'm doing this thing to the end. Is he the death or the challenge gonna fly? God! Hold your shadow! Hold your shadow! Hold your shadow! Hallelujah! 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 Hashem! Hamashiach! Hashem! Hold your shadow! Shadow! So I uh, love you brothers and sisters, man, and that's what it's about. This eldership is, is uh, very important to me. This is a milestone, you know, uh, to reach in my life. And uh, I couldn't, I could not have reached this time in my life any other time of being in this truth. I don't know about you brothers and sisters, but I, I think y'all would agree with me. Coming into the truth is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And to close out with, since we talking about truth, you can't make this up. Give me Sirach 4 and 28. That's what I'm going to close with. Cut. Yeah. I know y'all like, all right, God damn it, you 50 shepherd. Bring it out. Bring it <laughs> But it's all good. I'm going to close with this. Sirach 4 and 28. Come here, Shadow. Read that. This is Sirach chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth. Unto death. Unto what? Unto death. Go ahead. And the Lord shall fight for thee. God. It's self explanatory. God. 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 So uh, strive for the truth until death, and the most high will fight for thee. God. So I'm um, fitting. You know what I'm saying? 50 years old. <laughs> I thank the most high Yahweh Shai for this special time in my life. And uh, I would like to take this time to thank all you brothers and sisters for showing up. God, a lot of the family said they would have came, but there's a lot going on. And when all this is over, man, we're going to go through some trials soon. God, so also we got to appreciate this time coming together because it's about to get crazy out here. God, so we don't know if we're going to be able to come together. God, and, uh, you know, I just want to say, man, it's a beautiful thing. First and foremost, shout out to HOI. Good. Shout out to 12 Stones. Good. Shout out to True Nation. This is
for the love. All praises to you, I was shy. Like I said, a lot of families sit their regards. There's a lot going on in Israel. It's, man, a gang of brothers and sisters wanted to be here, but for whatever reason, they couldn't. And you were here because the most I wanted you here. God, God, so much, I was shy. So, Imagine we're putting your Jerusalem, stand and face Jerusalem. We're going to pray out and pray for the food and the drink. And then y'all can eat, drink, and be merry. Okay. Good? Oh. Good! Oh. Come on, Six verse four, Credo of Israel, Hallelujah, 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 Yahweh, 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 and you have a shot that is sincere God. all throughout the four corners of the earth by Hashem and Hashem. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem and Hashem. Thank you for all the brothers and sisters that were able to make it tonight, Most High. We pray for our brothers and sisters that were not able to make it. We ask you to bless them, watch over them. We know we're coming into some trouble sometimes, Most High. We ask you to protect and watch over all the nation of Israel. We thank you for all the brothers and sisters that were able to get here. We ask you to let everyone get home safe and sound. We ask you to continue to allow us to fellowship in the spirit of love and unity as family, brothers and sisters in the Mashiach Yahushai. Ba Shiva Mashiach Yahushai. Shiva Mashiach Yahushai. Shiva Mashiach Yahushai. Shiva Mashiach Hallelujah. 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 Blessed are most high. Yahweh, Bashim, Mashiach, I thank you, most high, for my eldership. Thank you for all the brothers and sisters that have, that have reached this milestone in their lives and in this truth. And we thank you for the whole nation, if it be thy will. Bless the food and the drink that we're about to receive and the fellowship that we're about to have. Let everything be done decently and in order. Let everyone get home safe and sound. And let all things be done for the exalt. Exalting in the upliftment of you, your son, and our nation. Wow, shiver my shaka, shaka, the water, the yard, I belong. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Come here, shaka. Come here, shaka. Alright, at 
this time, brothers and sisters, eat, drink, and be merry. Salaka, 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 we have an announcement, Salaka. Yes, we do. We have a special announcement. Can I have everybody to have a seat, please? For just a little moment, please, we have something special that we want to do tonight. And we're going to have Sister Adele Yahawa come up and give the honors. Wow. All praises to Yahawa Hashem, Yahawa Shalom. It's so beautiful to see my people gathering in righteousness. But this is not the end. I have a special surprise for my elder. Can he come up? Wait. Please say me. Come on, Buffalo. Bring it out. Bring the fire. <laughs> Oh, 
for the miss and how far we came. We walk a job for the week. We make the best decision to go out and teach. Did the work fishes, seven for the Lord when your house was number one in the double red six. H O Y seven one six. Have the body put the friends together, all praises to the most side. Believe the way. Proverbs chapter verse twenty. Better than hear the truth for the wise and hear the songs of the fools. Yeah, we gotta get the shoes of Hamashiach. The law is perfect. Don't need to take yourself the door to the to the end. To the spirit is the price is right. Some of us need discipline. 
and I will play over and over and over. Okay. So you guys, again, throughout this time, we're gonna be eating and eating and fellowship and whatnot. We're gonna be bringing out certain things, and you guys, if y'all wanna gather around and look, that's more than, you're more than welcome to do that. But sisters and children, we're gonna go ahead and start with you guys first, and then the brothers. Um, you guys can go ahead and start eating afterwards. But we're gonna go ahead and just keep this going, and I just wanna say thank you. I'm gonna give some little bit of words right now to my husband. heart and I just wanted to say yeah I was one of those sisters that was on I've been in the truth since 1998 okay um, however the form of the truth that I came in under we didn't know about the 12 tribes chart and whatnot we didn't know about who was who and so on and so forth according to the western hemisphere let me put that out there because you know some people have an issue with that but um either way I was on YouTube, I was on YouTube in 2006, right? That was my first account. And one of the videos that I did see was Zabak, IOIC, uh, Bon Lawyer, Priest Danya Allah. You guys were some of the first brothers that I saw and I didn't hear a lot of the stuff that I learned years prior. And obviously it resonated with my spirit, right? Come full circle, there was an issue. <laughs> That was a big issue that I went to Elder Zavai because I respected him as my elder. And he gave me some advice. I added it unto myself. And then, of course, as you guys see, one day, <laughs> he took interest in me and I obliged, happily obliged. <laughs> from New York. I did say that as a child. Come full circle. Here we are. I spoke it into existence. No, uh, <laughs> you guys, thank you guys so much. And I just wanted to say thank you, babe. You taught me so much. I've learned a lot from you. Even though I came in as a young man, <laughs> I still learned a lot from you and I appreciate you for being the elder that you are to the nation of Israel. I love your perseverance. I love your determination. Nothing all the madness and all the craziness that's happened throughout the years, it has not stopped you from getting up and teaching your brothers and sisters and the, the brothers and sisters that you love, even the ones that watch you that don't really like you. You are up and you're at them, and I really appreciate you. You're being a wonderful example to your children. I appreciate you being there. I appreciate your love and your strength and what shall separate you from the love of the Most High? And as far as I've seen, absolutely nothing. And I appreciate you for that. So, brothers and sisters, thank you all for another or another time. He's saying it again for coming out. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. And enjoy the rest of the night. Stand on the other side. So, uh, of course, man, I want to give all praise to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and all the brothers and sisters that put this together and made this possible. And, um, you know, me and my wife, we went, we, we met, Salakia. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. I never get nervous. <laughs> Not the elder. We met, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About 11, 12 years ago when we vibed and everything, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I remember, babe, telling you that there's not a lot of people left like you in the world. Kai, do you remember that? Uh, shima my shak, I'm shy. Uh, shima I said, it's, not, it's, not, it's not only that there's people left in the truth like this, but it's just our people in general that's still not left like you in the world. Kai? Kai. And, um, you know, I say it all the time as a joke, but even though she get on my last goddamn nerves in time, but I still love her to life and death. Kai? Okay? Oh. I'm you when you shot. And uh, we have produced beautiful children, Kai. Okay? 
But um, I want to say this, you know, and I saved this for this moment. And I want to say to you, babe, uh, Tawada, and nobody has never done nothing like this for me in my entire lifetime. Uh, and I just want to uh, say uh, thank you for putting this eldership celebration together. I don't want nobody to get simple about 50, like it's a birthday bash or nothing like that. But um. This has not been done for me in my entire lifetime. A lot of people have done beautiful and special things for me, but um, the only thing that tops this is the most time you always try bringing me into the truth. God. That's the only thing that could top this, but nobody has done nothing like this for me ever in my lifetime. And I just want to say I love you, I appreciate you. Kwame Ashala, hallelujah. God. In the midst of us celebrating and rejoicing, let's remember there's prophecy going on in the world. There's a lot of our family that wish they could be here, but they can. And uh, let's seize this moment because we don't know what the next chapter, you know, what's going to unfold in the next chapter. Okay? Yeah. Um, I would like to say thank to all the brothers. Thank you to all the brothers that came up and spoke. Um, I want to hear from you, little couple of you sisters too. Yeah. But uh, we'll save that for the when, when the gift giving part comes. We'll save that for the gift giving. And uh, the water to you, brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? For everything. You know, all the brothers that came up and spoke and gave me well wishes. And um, right now, let's eat, drink, and be merry. Um, I do apologize about the temperature in here. There was supposed to be something that was done about the heat. I do apologize about that. But I mean, we Negroes, man. We create our own heat, goddammit. Oh. Huh? Huh? We create our own heat, cut. So we gonna make it do what it do. Listen, y'all ain't gotta run out of here, everybody. I ask y'all to endure, hang out a little bit. I do want to get a group picture with everyone. Please, you cannot leave without to get a flick with me, cut. Huh? Huh? I do want to get a group picture with everybody. So don't run out. The food is about to be served. We about to eat, drink, and be merry. We got a little bit of. More DJ spinning for y'all, okay? Oh. And damn it, it's cold, but we gonna make our own heat. <laughs> oh. Don't y'all go talking about me, goddammit. <laughs> the elder celebration was cold, goddammit. <laughs> y'all better not go talking about me, you know what I'm saying? Hell, the hell. True Nation got short sleeves on, so if they can do it, we can do it, okay? <laughs> Oh, praises by uh, Shimon I'm sorry. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for showing up. Easy to be married. Oh, praises. I'd like to thank um, HOI, Illinois, my beautiful daughter in law. This is my daughter in law, y'all. Stand up. Stand up. That's my daughter in law. She's married to my long winded son. <laughs> But that's my, my spiritual son, but he's still my son. And that's my daughter-in-law from HR Illinois. Give it up to them. Oh. That's my family. I love them. They flew all the way out here to be with their elder. Right. You know, the rest of the East Coast was like, oh, elder, we get this celebration in Philly. We ain't coming. Yeah. We already had a party for you, you know? <laughs> but um, give it up to my brother, Gabar, HR Buffalo. Yeah. That man, bring, that man bring energy anywhere he go. Yeah. So he gonna turn up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Give it up for my brother, Rob Judah. Yeah. 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 What is it, Velvet? 
That man, that rust, man, that rust, man. You got to coordinate. God, God. <laughs> God. You know what I'm saying? Give it up to all of my family, man. Kazak, where you at, Kazak? Bring your shout out. I'm not taking away from anybody else that did whatever they did, but these three sisters, it is what it is. What you see is what you get. Cut! Cut. Drop the mic. I would like to thank all of them for putting this whole event together and working tirelessly and effortlessly to make this whole thing happen. Cut! Cut. And that's not, that's not to take away from any of y'all that did anything else, Cut! So don't go, go get mad at me and cussing me out. <laughs> After some back, I made sure y'all had soap detergent. You know what I'm saying? Can I get some credit? Nah. I love y'all Israel, okay? But uh, these three, they work tirelessly and effortlessly to put this together, okay? Come! Thank all of my family. Um, I like to thank young brother Yakeem. You know what I'm saying? All right. Give me that seat walk real quick. <laughs> oh man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, man. A lot of the LA brothers, man. We know y'all come out of the culture or whatever. But this brother, man, he's come in, and this brother repented. He's been fire. Man, the people on the even the people on the comic board are like, man, let that young brother speak, 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 man. He fired. Yeah. And it's great when you turn that street energy into righteous energy, man. God. So man, you're a powerful young brother, man. Stay humble. Cause the spirit is gonna elevate you, but you, but you gotta stay humble. Because you already got that force and that power. Just keep teaching, studying. You know, HR, we're gonna welcome you in, we're gonna nurture you, we're gonna guide you, you know what I'm saying? And uh the only thing I gotta say is Bring the rest of the young homies with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Shadow! Yeah, I love that brother, man. Young, powerful brother, man. Oh, it's a man, and it's a man. Let that brother speak, man. I said, no, 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 no. He got to get the rest of that crib out of him. <laughs> <laughs> but much love, brother. You're how we are with Shadow. Come here, Shadow! Come here, Shadow! Come here, Shadow! Hello, yeah. So I thank all you brothers and sisters, man, you know what I'm saying, and coming through is, is a blessing, man, to reach this milestone in my life, you know, uh, fitty, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but damn it, I feel 30, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I thank the most on you, how shot for that, and um, let's have a good time, man, y'all ain't got to rush home, you know, you ain't got to cut off time, but you know, I, I use the spot all the time, and Salakia, I will make up for this cold night. Even if I do a damn new moon with seven heaters in here. <laughs> I'll make it up to y'all, okay? Salakia, good. All praise to Yahweh by Shubham Rashiach Kamshai. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Anybody else want to say anything before we close out? Huh? Who said something? Okay, God. All right, at this time, we're going to eat, drink, and be merry. Go! Go, Michelle! Way of HOI. Wow. He HOI and Trudation. Oh. He